Hello, horsemen. It's Brett Boyd from the Michigan Harness Horsemen's Association, and uh, thank you for your attention. We have an outstanding opportunity to uh, make Michigan horse racing flourish again. Um, the last couple years certainly have been very difficult years, and uh, I think it's important that we talk a little bit about the past before we talk about the future. Uh, Michigan horse racing has certainly been uh, under attack for many, many years with the incredible explosion of tribal casinos in Michigan, the three metro casinos, uh, numerous charitable gaming facilities, and one right here in our own racetrack, which certainly could be competitive in nature to horse racing. Of course, uh, expansion in the state lottery, and now internet wagering on horse racing. And if you look at Michigan racing, there's a reason why we've dropped from five days down to four, uh, down to three, and in the situation with Northville Downs, down to two days. Uh, limited opportunities for a horseman, absolutely that's not what we want. But illegal internet wagering has really damaged horse racing here in Michigan and all across the country. And what it's done is take the pools of dollars that we have for purses and sub substantially reduce those. So imagine this. We've got the Kentucky Derby coming up in a couple Saturdays. Um, it's our biggest day for our racetracks, whether it's Sports Creek, Northville, or Hazel Park. It is by far our biggest day for wagering. Unfortunately, a lot of folks will wager from their phone or from their computer, and that is to no benefit of our horsemen. And the progression of internet wagering options has really eroded the purse money that we have for our horsemen. So, and, and really, who can blame the customer? I mean, convenience is king no matter what business you're in. And folks that are now forced to pay up to $4 a gallon for their gasoline, then they have to drive across town, fight traffic to come to our facilities, whether it's Northville, Hazel Park, um, or uh, say even Mount Pleasant Meadows up in, uh, up in the north. So the convenience of wagering from home has really gravitated a, a lot of our customers from coming to the track and making a wager to going to the Internet. Now, that is serious business for the state of Michigan and for our horsemen. Because, say on the Kentucky Derby, if a gentleman comes to the track, he bets $100 on the Kentucky Derby. Three and a half cents or a three and a half percent tax goes into the Ag Equine Fund. The Ag Equine Fund creates incentives for our breeders and purses for our races and in particular our colt stakes. Also on that wager would be the commissions that the track and the horsemen split evenly. So what happens is when that customer wagers that hundred dollars from their phone account or their internet account and doesn't come to the track, our horsemen, our tracks, and the state of Michigan get nothing. So as we've seen double-digit declines in the Ag Equine Fund because of the expansion of wagering on the Internet, we've seen our purse pools get smaller, smaller, and smaller. Um, collectively, the horsemen have worked with the racetrack in the previous years to try to come up with ballot proposals to bring racinos back. Um, and unfortunately, we know that we are under... Uh, incredible competition uh, from the casinos that will fight to the tune of 18, 20, 25 million dollars to defeat any ballot proposal. So the last couple of years has been very, very difficult. How do we find an opportunity to add a new form of revenue to our racetracks? How do we survive? How do we stay in business? Well, right here in front of me is House Bill 5546. And House Bill 5546 is basically a rewrite of the racing law of 1995. And the racing law of 1995 is very interesting. Uh, we've been looking for an opportunity, and within our own racing law, we think we have an opportunity. It says um, in the racing law that we can... This is racetracks, and I'll, I'll read from the racing law. It says, an act to license and regulate um, horse race meetings in the state with paramutual wagering on the results of horse races and persons involved in horse racing and paramutual gaming activities. That's the key word. We're looking to add additional paramutual activities or games to the racetracks to be competitive with our 
competition, whether it's the casinos, uh, the lottery, the internet. So we're looking to add additional paramutual games or opportunities, or as uh, they're saying in Lansing, emerging technologies. That would be account wagering, possibly instant racing, which is very successful in Arkansas and most recently in Kentucky. Instant racing is basically betting on previous recorded horse races. Um, it is attracting new customers in Kentucky, and we think it's a great opportunity here in Michigan. This also has language in here to add additional games, um, and, and obviously we'd like to get additional games for additional revenue for our horsemen. So what we have is we have two bills, House Bill 5546 and Senate Bill 1075. Now, folks, we've been working so hard on this, and we have the ears of the legislatures. Joe Hewn, who was a former groom for Kelly Goodwin, uh, has been one of the driving forces behind this legislation. And in the House, we also have uh, Representative Kevin Daly, who has uh, really become an admirer of our business. And he knows our challenges. He knows about what happened in 2004 when it looks like we were going to get Racinos. And then suddenly... Um, out of nowhere, we get runoff at the pass. He knows about Proposal 1 and the limitations that puts on our business. And we've been very, very fortunate through your hard work communicating with your re representatives to get some support. This past week, we passed out of the committee in the House without any no votes and also out of a Senate committee without any no votes. Now, unfortunately, the war has begun. Um, all of those folks that are in our court and voted it out of committee, and basically what that means is it came out of committee, it, now these bills are on the House floor and on the Senate floor, and they could come up for vote at any time. Unfortunately, since they were voted out of committee yesterday, the Citizens for Traditional Values have been bombarding our friends, saying, how in the world could you possibly do this? It's a, an expansion of gaming. It has been our position all along that this bill is not an expansion of gaming, that horse racing is the original form of paramutual wagering in Michigan. We're 79 years old. We were here before the casinos, here before the lottery, here before much of the uh, new charitable gaming opportunities. It's not an expansion of gaming. It's just us rewriting our racing law so it's more clear on who our regulator is, and also creates additional paramutual, which is all the wagers go into a pool, more opportunities for our horsemen, more revenue for our racetracks, and uh, obviously to preserve 12,000 jobs. Horse racing, um, you know, it's, it's funny. Citizens for traditional values. Well, guess what? Our horsemen are traditional citizens that work harder than anybody. You guys work first shift, you work second shift, you work third shift. We're an economic engine from Michigan, from hay and oats to, for the farmer, to trucks and trailers, to insurance sales, to our veterinarians. I was talking to Dr. Stick at MSU yesterday, and he said point blank, the large animal clinic at Michigan State University is down 40% in the last five years, and it's because of the decline of horse racing in the state of Michigan. And he's going to jump on board with us. He's going to write letters supporting House Bill uh, 5546, Senate Bill 1075, because he knows that horse racing is good for Michigan economies and it's good for Michigan State University. Here's where you come in. You know, we have rarely in the last couple years asked for your help or your support. And I can't ask you enough guys um we have a lot of support because of your letters but those folks that are in our court are getting bombarded from folks all over the state of michigan saying how can you do this we have to be heard and i'm talking about your contacting your representative your senator and maybe most importantly the governor the governor threw us a real curveball this week the governor is really shown and indicated to us that he is very supportive of Michigan horse racing. He kind of looks at us as uh, economic gardening, he calls it, investing in Michigan jobs. But this week he came out, had a representative at the House hearing, 
that said the governor's office is not in support of this legislation. We believe wholeheartedly that this is legal, that this is a way for us to improve our business. But the governor needs to hear from you. The state representatives need to hear from you. The senators need to hear from you. They need to know that we're real. And this, this is truly an opportunity to save a great Michigan industry. 79 years of racing, paramutual racing in Michigan, and we're coming to the finish line. We, our horsemen, we've seen our friends, our family, have to pick up and leave and go race in other jurisdictions. Here is truly an opportunity for you folks that have stuck it out here in Michigan to get something back for that and maybe to bring new Michigan jobs back and bring some of those horsemen back, you know, and bring some of our family members back. But we absolutely need you to respond. Um, On Monday night, we have four different locations where we are going to have horsemen's rallies. And on Monday night at 7 o'clock, we're going to feed you pizza, beverages, We're going to talk about our strategies. We're going to implement some of those strategies on how we're going to communicate. And, folks, I'm not talking about just our horsemen communicating. I'm talking about your farmer you buy hay from, your feed store, your tax store, um, your veterinarian, your blacksmith, um, the gentleman that does or lady that does the teeth on your horses, anything. If you pay a bill to them, we need their help. We need them to reach out. Our betters right here in Northville Downs, the tellers, the people that work in sessions, we need to all rally behind Senate Bill 1075, House Bill 5546, and we need to do it now. There is no excuse for not helping. There is no excuse. If you want to see this great business continue, you need to react. And we need you at one of those meetings. Okay, We have four strategic locations, Northville Downs, the Comfort Inn in Jackson, Michigan, Sports Creek Raceway, and soon to be announced the location in Plainwall, Michigan. That's four different rallying points to help uh, horse racing in Michigan survive. Monday night, 7 o'clock, you do not have an excuse. We need to rally behind this, and we need to act quickly. The reason this is Monday is because these representatives and senators in our governor's office are being bombarded with people that are against our business. And you know what? We're a traditional family business that needs to stand up. We need to stand together. We need to get united. We need to react. And it needs to happen Monday night at 7 o'clock. I've spent almost my whole life fighting for horse racing, fighting for our families, communicating with our governor, with our representatives, and guess what? So have you folks. And all of our messages are finally hitting home. But we cannot let somebody run us off at the pass again. It happened in 2004. We should have had slots. We should be racing for big money now. And the state of Michigan would have been the winner of over $2 billion in additional state revenue. Meanwhile, we have 22 tribal casinos in this state, and guess what, guys? They got a ton of money. They don't pay any taxes, and they've got lobbyists that are down in Lansing working their tail off to make sure they don't support us. We have three metro casinos that say this legislation is illegal, and they have tons of money, and they're working against us. We have one chance. It's right now. And if you don't respond, it's your fault. The representatives in Lansing, our governor in Lansing, need to hear from you. There's no excuse. Horse racing is absolutely a great business. It's a family business which employs over 12,000 jobs. And just think about it. On your farm, maybe not everybody's licensed, but think about all the folks that come to your farm and contribute to your business and contribute to your racehorse stable. Think about how many folks aren't licensed. You know what? 12,000 jobs may be an underestimate. But your job is the most important. Your family's the most important. And the success of Michigan racing is dependent on how you react. We're asking all of our horsemen to make 20 to 25 contacts. I don't care if it's your mother, your brother, your vet, your blacksmith, your friend, 
They need to take the time to contact their representative, contact the senator, and maybe most importantly, contact the governor. And they got to do it now. You can't wait. It's got to happen in the next three to four to five days. Because if we're not heard, all those other voices, all that other money will run us off the path again. I want to thank our representatives. I want to thank you, the horsemen. And we need to see you Monday night. You know, I had a gentleman from my district say, well, Brett, I know you've already got, uh, you know, we've got the votes of Representative Kurtz. We've got the votes of uh, Senator Caswell. No, we don't. We don't have anybody's votes. We can't afford to be uh, lackluster in our effort here. All I'm asking is you show up on Monday night. You get the tools to communicate with our representatives, with our governor, with our senator. And it, it's our last chance, guys. We got an opportunity here. You know, the great thing is, even if we don't get this bill passed, we have an opportunity to work with a governor, to show a governor what this business means to Michigan. That we are truly a three-quarters of a billion-dollar engine, economic engine for Michigan, and that our horsemen care. You have to stand up. You have to fight. And you got to do it now. Uh, Phil Stoneman, our staff, uh, Leanne and Dan back at the MHHA, have all the resources. It'll be on our website, but we need you to come to one of those four meetings. Plainwell, Michigan, the Comfort Inn in Jackson, Michigan, Sports Creek Raceway, Northville Downs, Monday night, 7 o'clock. Be there. Be prepared. Let's do this together. We can do it, guys. we got a great business. We've got great support in Lansing. And for the first time, they know who we are, and they know what we do, and they know what we mean to Michigan. But don't let all these other forces knock us off the path. Let's seize the opportunity to get these bills passed and get something positive for Michigan. Let's get some race dates back. Let's get some revenue back. Let's reinvigorate our breeding in Michigan. we got to do it, and we're not going to do it if we can't get each and every horseman to react. Looked at what happened in Ontario. You know, they closed the doors on us in Ontario. Here's a chance to take care of Michigan, to take care of the home front, and we got to do it. So Monday night, playing well, and, and we'll get you that location. Jackson at the Comfort Inn, Northville Downs, or Sports Creek Raceway. 7 p.m., beverages, pizza will be provided. We need to come together. We need to unite, and we need to bring this baby home. I can't ask you enough. From the bottom of my heart, you need to take the time. You need to make the time. You need to make a difference. We got an opportunity, guys, and don't let it get away. Please. We got great people in this business, and all of us need to rally together, and you need to do it. We've asked before, and I'm not sure we got the greatest participation. I can't say it enough. You got to do it, you got to step up. House Bill. 5546, Senate Bill 1075. It's time to get this horse home a winner. I appreciate everybody. Thank you so much for your efforts in the past, and I cannot say it enough. We need you now, and it's got to happen this week. Good luck, everybody. The MHHA is trying very hard to make sure this thing gets done and that we get new revenue for our horsemen, more race dates for our